Okay, so I've mentioned in a few of my videos, so you should already know by now that I am opening a discipleship school. This is not just a place where we do Bible study and a few prayers. No, it goes beyond that. It's a discipleship school. In other words, it's a place where people are turned into disciples of Jesus Christ because it's one thing to just sit at home reading your Bible and having good biblical knowledge of the word of God uh, and sitting at home doing your prayers and having a relationship with God the Father that's one thing and another thing is to actually be a disciple of Jesus Christ who actually goes there and makes more disciples of the nations you see not everyone is called to go out there and make disciples of all the nations if you remember that guy who was demon possessed he was living in the tombs and he was they would tie him up with chains but he would break them and he would take stones and cut himself cut himself and jesus went to this man and he said to them what is he spoke and he said what is your name and the demon spoke out of the man saying we are legion in other words we are an army of demons and jesus said come out of this man and the man wasn't in his right mind and Jesus said come out of this man and the demons all left him they went into the pigs and they fell off the cliff uh, and then the man sat there he was dressed and he in his right mind which he was he was never seen like that before he was always out of his mind he was always without any clothes because he was always tearing his clothes breaking the chains cutting himself you know self-harm self-harm can be today as anything self-harm it could be uh, a drug drugs self-harm it could be alcoholism self-harm many ways of self-harm anyway um and um and uh and and the demons left him and the man was uh in his right mind and then the man said to jesus uh master let me follow you let, let me come with you and jesus said to him no but you go back to your people and tell them what the lord has done for you Jesus, notice that Jesus said to him, no, but go back to your people. So not everyone is called to be like the disciples of Jesus Christ and go out there and make disciples of all the nations. Because this guy asked Jesus, let me come with you. But what did Jesus say to him? He said, no, you go back to your people, your village, your house, your neighborhood, and just tell them what God has done for you. So not everyone is called to go out there into all the, all the nations and make disciples of everyone. Some people are, are, are uh, uh, some people's assignment is only just to go to their people, their home. Someone could be a stay-at-home mom, and your mission might be just to disciple your own children. That might be your mission, just disciple your own children. Someone's mission is to make disciples of all the nations. Someone's pe someone's mission is just to disciple their own children. Someone's mission is to just disciple their own neighborhood and so on and so forth. Everyone's assignment is different. But we all have a similar assignment. We have to be discipling people. Whether it's just your children, whether you've got one child, two children, three children, and that's your mission there, that's a mission because you don't know if any one of those children grows out to be the next, grows up to be the next Moses, the next Elijah, the next Elisha, the next David, the next noah you know god knows we don't know our duty is just to do as the bible says go and make disciples and so uh, you should already know by now that i'm uh, opening a discipleship school and, and the aim is to make disciples of all nations um for starters i'll be taking in criminals and drug addicts why because the drug uh, house that you know I'm, I, 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 God has assigned me to is exactly opposite the road of this discipleship school they're bang opposites so when people are got people I see people walking into that drug house slowly woo, they'll be coming over here and we'll be turning them Jesus will be turning them into disciples the Holy Spirit will be turning them into disciples of Jesus Christ uh, with that being said I would like to start doing spicing it up a bit in my videos start doing something different in my videos and uh, start discipling uh, through my videos as well as opposed to just telling you you know five steps to this three steps to that this is what the Bible says uh, I'll start I'm going to start doing communion uh, in my videos and um, discipleship things also 
and I would like to start turning the viewers into disciples of Jesus Christ as opposed to just sitting at home and just watching my face and listening to what the Holy Spirit is speaking through me no I want to encourage you to get out there I want, I, I want you to become disciples of Jesus Christ I want you to become such strong disciples of Jesus Christ where you go out there spirit-led and Christ-centered and you tell that demon to come out of that person and that demon comes out. You go out there, whether it's to a nation, to a neighborhood or just to your family or just to your workplace and the Holy Spirit in you gives you the power that's radiating, that's coming out of you, through your mouth, through your entire being, and you bring peace to the oppressed, and you open the blind eyes, and you heal the broken hearts, and you tell the prisoner who is in Satan's uh, dark prison, come out and step into the light of God. You see, go out there and preach the kingdom of God, and I want to start discipling you to do these things. So it will, uh, it will no longer be, some of my videos will continue as they were. You know, where we just, you know, speak practical day-to-day -day things and give you, you know, tips here and there of how to do spiritual warfare and the usual, which I usually do. But I'm going to stay, take it a step further, a step further for those of you who really want to get out there and become disciples of Jesus Christ. Because coming, becoming disciples of Jesus Christ means that you're actually out there you're out there you're not just experiencing it in your home you're out there but you can be out there working with your family as i said it doesn't necessarily have to be out there in all the nations some of you will be though some of you will be i know i have viewers like that some of you will be i know some of my viewers whether you know it or not whether you like it or not you are amazing disciples of jesus christ i promise you you're amazing disciples of Jesus Christ. There are viewers out there who are walking so heavily with the Holy Spirit of God. You are walking so heavily and I see it in some of your uh, messages. You are walking so heavily with, with the Spirit. There are big assignments for you. Big assignments for you. And there is nothing to fear. Feel no e fear, no evil principality, no powers of darkness, no demon. For you have the power to cast out that demon and tell that demon to leave. You saw my video I posted a few days ago or last week. It was titled Jesus Christ Broke Witchcraft from Breaks Witchcraft from Drug Addicts. Go back and watch that video. Maybe it was posted last week. How Jesus Christ broke the witchcraft from this drug house from these drug people from the whole neighborhood and all i was required to do is just execute you see victory is already jesus christ all you're required to do is just execute don't think that you're gonna you have to go out there and, and, and be, save that drug addict you have to go out there and break that witchcraft you have to go out there and you know uh, heal the broken hearts and you have to go and think what you're going to say and i don't really have anything to say no it's not you it's not you that's operating it's not you that's uh, uh, thinking it's not you that's speaking you're just there as a vessel and it's the holy spirit operating through you it's the holy spirit speaking through you it's the holy spirit leading you here that way time to go the place to go the person to speak to the holy spirit is doing everything you're just there as a vessel executing you see heaven comes to earth through vessels and we just have to be a willing, a willing vessel that says god use me a willing vessel that's so surrendered to the holy spirit of god so surrendered where the holy spirit just flows freely just flows freely through the mind through the words through the actions it's the holy spirit just flowing freely there's no space for you for example me to go into the uh, drug house and start operating based on my understanding yeah but what if i get attacked yeah but what if this happens no because then the holy spirit is you're blocking you're blocking the holy spirit you're blocking the holy spirit to operate through your mind you're up blocking the holy spirit to operate through your words because then you start to think like that what if i get hurt when you start to speak like that yeah and the holy spirit tells you something to say that might seem a bit awkward at the time or uncomfortable at the time and because you're already thinking thoughts of fear it, it, the words of the holy spirit are struggling you, you, you you're kind of not 
freely allowing the Holy Spirit to speak those words free, through you because you think, what if what if I step on someone's toes? You, but, 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 what if this happens? What if that happens? But you need to surrender so completely to such a level where uh, there's no space in your mind to what if this, what if that, what if the other, but fear, but worry, but anxiety. No, because these thoughts of the devil are going to bring you down right now when it's time for the holy spirit to speak through you you will obstruct it you will hinder it and, and, and you won't allow the holy spirit to f speak freely yeah but to speak freely yeah but that thing that those words the holy spirit is telling you to speak at that time is what will break those chains right so you need to be surrendered to such a level it looks dangerous i'm surrendered it looks awkward i'm surrendered it looks impossible i'm surrendered that's how the drug house, the, the witchcraft was broken from that drug house, right? That's how that was broken. And we have to be surrendered. And I know this is this is the disciple. This is what we're going to teach people. What the Holy Spirit will teach people in the discipleship school. And that's what I want to share with you on these videos as well. So it's it will be almost like a discipleship school online. And it's all free of charge. I'm not charging anything. Because the Bible says freely you have received, freely give. So... Um, yeah, so I'll be doing a discipleship school online. And basically, I'll be telling you all about really how to get out there, how to be so obedient to the Holy Spirit, how to get out there, how to be um, uh, 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 take the action that God is telling you, how to get into that area, how to go and possess that land, take, the, take those Jericho walls down, go in and possess the land, defeat the enemy, everything. How to make disciples of other people, how to wash the feet of other people. You know, Jesus washed his disciples' feet. Jesus was above everyone, but he decided to be the servant. He who is most in the kingdom will be the least. Who is the least in the kingdom will be most. I'm paraphrasing, but it goes something like that anyway. It strengthens you. It strengthens you. It strengthens you. And I, would, and I will show you how to go through warfare. I'll show you how to go through warfare. No personal warfare, because I was a year in personal warfare. In the third year, which is now, I'm no longer in personal warfare. I'm in warfare for other people. I'm in warfare for neighborhoods. I'm in warfare for other things, not myself. I've been through my personal warfare. Sometimes I still have a bit of personal warfare here and there. But mainly it's big battles and taking down the witchcraft from that entire neighborhood. Entire neighborhood. It was about it was about a mile under a mile walk around the whole neighborhood. The whole witchcraft was broken from that neighborhood. When when the when the Holy Spirit led me to do the Jericho march. Do the Jericho march. See, it's not, some people might say, well, God said march around that for seven, one, one time around the neighborhood for seven days. And on the seventh day, march around seven times. And God told me that that Jericho wall, wall will fall. What was the Jericho wall there? What, depending on what the Jericho wall is for your life, for this situation, the Jericho wall was the witchcraft. Your Jericho wall can be some other negative thing money marriage whatever in this case it was the witchcraft and so i did i marched around the wall the, the neighborhood once for seven days and on the seventh day i marched around seven times i was limping by the seventh round that evening i went to sleep or the evening after i went to sleep and i saw a youtube video and the uh, the title just jumped out at me and it says your war is over and i just fell to my knees and i wept and then I went to their drug house. And you know, the, the, the owner of the drug house who, who whose witchcraft was on him. There was witchcraft in the neighborhoods as well, but there was intense witchcraft on him. His, his necks were just full of chains, 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 chains. Chains here, chains there, chains on the ankles. The Holy Spirit said to me, you will tell the, you, you, you can tell the level of witchcraft based on all of that. That was, he was in spiritual chains. Every chain on him had like, a, a magic thing a witchy thing hanging off it there was one with a half moon and a demon a demon like that 
sitting on the half moon and it was just there hanging off his neck but it was full full it was full witchcraft stuff you can tell when it's witchcraft what well, i can tell i was battling five months to clear them like i was saying to i would give him a cross and say exchange give me that so i can take the witchcraft and give him a cross it took me five months just to take two chains off him it was full everywhere after the jericho walk and I knew the war was over, I went to his house and his neck was like that. Nothing. Nothing. His ankles were clean. I think he had like two only, two or three only left here. Everything. And, and they weren't witchcraft. Right? I want to teach you. I want to do discipleship school online. Here, through the videos, this won't be separate from here. It will be, it will, for now, it will be here. Right? And you just let me know in the comments what you're battling with and what you would like to know and uh, and and then we'll take it from there and I will keep you updated what is happening in the discipleship school I mean I'll, I'll take videos here and there I'm still cleaning it out it's still very dirty I'm still cleaning it out but I've made a big progress if you want to send donations uh, and I want to thank the one lady who sent a donation already um, I won't mention any names but if you want to send donations because I will be feeding people and it's all coming out of my pocket I will be feeding people teas and coffees everything's free because someone might not be ready to get into the Bible or anything but just wants to be in wants to be in the atmosphere and just have a cup of tea and that's all fine you can sit there for as long as you like and you can have as many teas as you like no one's going to say anything to you uh, that, that person might take a month to start opening up and sit there, have your teas for one month, two months, whatever you want. And when you're ready, we're here. You know, I'm not going to push anyone. But I'll be feeding them and clothing them and providing Bibles and uh, and, and everything. And the rent is paid, electricity needs to be paid, the water needs to be paid. So if you want to send donations, uh, go ahead and do so because you're still helping. You're still part of the... Um, a discipleship school when you send in donations and you're sowing into the kingdom of god you're sowing into the work of god as opposed to sowing into the world you know you reap what you sow and so have your finances attached to the kingdom of god i'm not saying it has to be through me but have your finances attached to the kingdom of god some people have their finances attached to witchcraft they go into all these psychics tarot readers crystal balls all this magic stuff and they pay these witches and so they have their finances attached to eat to an evil source and then they wonder why they're always in this negativity why they're always struggling why they're always financial lack and so on and so forth maybe it's because your money is attached to a, an unclean source you know change that around have your finances attached start start a, a spending uh, in the kingdom of God start sowing in the kingdom of God it's for your benefit too you know the Bible says God loves a cheerful giver uh, what you sow will always come back to you multiple times if you take an apple seed and you sow it you get a whole apple tree and each apple is full of multiple seeds within just that one apple and it all came from one seed when you sow, God will always give you, give you back more later than you sold, but more than you sold, right? So, God bless you. Donation link is below. If you want to purchase my books, New Age to Jesus Christ, Who is God? Link is below. You can get that from any Amazon Worldwide, paperback or Kindle. My latest book, New Age Deception, will be out end of the uh, month right if you need prayers or deliverance or healing if you're in the new age and you need deliverance from these demons message me on facebook god bless you peace be with you